Hello, and welcome to the Times Journeys webinar, The Women of Jordan. My name is Desiree Lippman, and I'm the Program and Marketing Assistant here at Times Journeys. During this webinar, you'll learn more about this fascinating country as I walk you through the itinerary. We'll also hear from Rania Kadri, a journalist based in Jordan, who will accompany our 2016 departure. Before we start, why travel with the New York Times? First of all, each of our departures is accompanied by a Times journalist or subject matter specialist. Choose from our program of over 55 itineraries, including land-based trips and specialty cruises to destinations that tell a story. Lastly, our tours offer opportunities to escape the crowds and get an authentic experience. To give you an overview of the tour, this is a 10-day, nine-night itinerary, beginning with your arrival in Amman, Jordan. On day two, enjoy a tour of Amman, taking in the rich history of the city. You'll stay in Amman on day three, meeting with local women and foundations working towards gender equality. On day four, travel to Aqaba, stopping en route to Sikra. You'll stay in the coastal city of Aqaba on day five, enjoying its beauty and learning about the issues that face women in this region. On day six, drive to Wadi Rum, the Valley of the Moon, where you'll stay in a Bedouin camp. On day seven, you'll visit Petra, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Travel back to Amman on day eight, where you'll stay for the remainder of the tour. The tour includes all of your accommodations, the tour manager and local guides, and most of your meals. During this tour, you'll visit historic sites such as the Amman Citadel and the 16th century Aqaba Fort. You'll also visit the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Petra, where you'll see Al Khazana, the treasury of the pharaohs, carved into the mountainside. On this tour, you'll enjoy highlights such as attending a lecture, meeting, and dinner with a Jordanian senator to discuss the changes for women in Jordan since the Arab Spring. You'll spend a day at a women's cooperative and you'll meet with members of the Jordanian National Forum for Women and learn about its success in promoting women's participation in politics. Rania Kadri, who will join our 2016 tour, is a journalist based in Jordan, where she was born and grew up. She has reported on topics such as the Gulf War, the growth of terrorism, and the Arab Spring uprisings. Her work has appeared in multiple news sources, including the New York Times. We'll now hear a recording she did for us, where she discusses the role of women in Jordanian tribal history, the tradition the traditional roles of women in Jordan and how those are changing. From a journalistic perspective, the Jordanian tribal hospitality and generosity never ceased to impress me or any of the other various top American journalists I worked with covering stories here. Even at the most tense times, for example, during demonstrations in the Arab Spring, I can't remember ever feeling unsafe or unwelcome, whether as a foreigner or a woman. You will witness this hospitality when you arrive. In 1993, I helped film a Monty Python Terry Jones movie about the Crusades in the south of Jordan, Karak and Wadiram. The BBC cameraman who had traveled the world, told me at that time that Jordan was one of the most photogenic countries he has ever seen and filmed. Going back to Karak, which was where the Crusaders, King Baldwin, built the castle, and where the final defeat of the Crusaders took place between Renaud de Châtillon and Saladin, the Kurdish Muslim leader. I will now talk about the tribes of Jordan. In the tribal culture, women played a much larger social, political, and economic role 
than what is commonly perceived. This unfortunately has regressed in the last half century. A story that is ingrained in the minds of all Jordanians is the story of the tribes of Karaks revolt against the Ottoman Empire in 1910. Men and women were demonstrating side by side, which is not common these days in the Arab world. And that year, Karak witnessed the first two male political prisoners in the Arab world. The Ottoman arrested two female demonstrators who happened to be the wife and sister-in-law of the tribal leader of the revolt. One of those women was pregnant and later gave birth in prison to a boy she called Habis, meaning the imprisoned, who later grew up to become the chief of the Jordanian army and is considered one of Jordan's true military heroes. The mother till now is a source of pride and glory to all the Jordanian tribes and is a symbol of the Bedouin woman's strength. Another tribal tradition is courtship between young men and women that was practiced till the late 30s. If a young man seeks to court a girl, he is allowed to sit with her till dawn if he wanted, as long as he puts a dagger between him and the young lady. The dagger is the lad's word of the honor that he will not dishonor her and is a symbol of trust to the parents that his intentions are clean. So if the father passes by and sees the dagger, he knows that it's okay to leave them alone. Unfortunately, courtship now is much more constrained and restricted. As you make your way south of Jordan, nearing the Gulf Coast, you will visit Wadi Ram, where Bedouin tribal culture is still alive. However, these tribes managed to integrate the modern way of life while preserving their identity and tradition. And also pride of their ancestors who fought along Lawrence of Arabia during the Arab Revolt, which funny enough marks its 100th anniversary this year. The attraction of Wadi Ram lies in its breath the attraction of Wadi Ram lies in its beauty and in the breathtaking scenery of the red rose sand. Many Hollywood movies have been filmed there, from Petal O'Toole's Lawrence of Arabia in the 60s to the recent Oscar-winning Matt Damon movie, The Martian. You will enjoy listening to old Bedouin stories while camping according to Bedouin traditions. We have many foundations in Jordan, which you will visit that employ women to produce local Bedouin crafts, food and clothes. This helps provide economic assistance to local unemployed women. And at the same time, empowering her vis-a-vis -vis her standing socially and gives her a sense of worth while preserving the Bedouin heritage. On this trip, you will taste our exquisite Jordanian cuisine. That will be something that you will have to taste to appreciate. Politically, we now have female ambassadors, ministers, MPs, and senators. Women now have become more economically, socially, and politically involved and have overcome social taboos. 
for example, the introduction of female traffic police and taxi drivers. You will be seeing strong examples of the struggles, successes of the Jordanian political system, which aims at empowering women every day. Women all over the world, especially in the third world, have a long way to go to achieve complete equality. However, given the small glimpses of the tribal culture I talked about, and the strong standing women had in the tribal tradition in the past, I think this will provide a strong foundation and stepping stone for female social, political, and economic progress in Jordan. Therefore, I for one am optimistic. Thank you, Taranya, for sharing that wonderful journalistic perspective with us. I'm now going to go over some fre frequently asked questions we get about our tours. Firstly, we often get questions about whether airfare is included. The answer is no, and that's because we find that our travelers often prefer to book their flights using miles, and this gives them the flexibility to do that. Another question we're asked is about the activity levels of the tour, and we generally recommend that you should be able to walk for three hours unaided over uneven ground um, in order to successfully do these tours. Um, in terms of documentation you'll need for travel, you will need to have a valid passport at the time of travel. You, the tour operators will assist you with all necessary visa or travel documents you might need. We also get asked, um, what should I pack for the trip? Um, before your departure, you will be provided with a detailed packing list that will make sure you have all the necessary clothing um, and items for the tour. To recap, this tour has two departures, one in August 2016 and one in May 2017. It is open to 25 travelers. This 10-day tour starts at 6,795 and has a single supplement of 1,400. If you would like to get more information on this itinerary, please visit our website. You can also call our reservation specialists at 855 698-7979 to book your spot on this tour. Thank you.